Well, um, we have a development. It was striking. There we go, right there. It's on. That's close. I better do some preps because I've got some chairs and that out here. Um, I'm trying to figure out which way. It is seeming to pass us, which is one thing. It gets really angry, then it gets really quiet. You must be able to hear that. Not that. <laughs> Yep. It's going to be awesome. And as you can see, still got the sun shining over here. Oh, I can't see anything. Where is it? Oh, I can't even see the sun. It's glary. It's so white. It's just not right. And we had some beautiful ribbing today in the sky, very early. I'm sure my Brisbane family have seen that this morning. The um, yeah, p potatoes, uh, what is it? Smith's Potato Crisps Sky. That's what I'm going to call it. Smith's Potato Chips Sky. Boy, that's a mouthful. Smith's Potato Chips Sky. Smith's Potato Chips Go, Smith's Potato Chips Go, Smith's <laughs> Oh well, I didn't mess it up that time. I'm just having a bit of fun. I've had a full on day. The uh, river was really, really nice, guys. It's beautiful to go out there. And um, my daughter and grandchildren came out as well. They just went in the film. Yeah, look at that. So I thought I'd share this with you guys bit of Australian lightning. If anybody's got a really good screen resolution, you might catch something in this that I don't, because uh, my eyes aren't really good. So please blow it up, see if there's any weird anomalies. Um, I've seen four very, very amazing things in the sky here. So anything's possible look at this thing punching its way in I was seriously looking at the clouds yesterday and they had a real ominous demonic thing about them and I'm not giving any credit to the enemy don't get me wrong because I know father controls this place but their dirty fingers and their dirty manipulation is on everything. You know, your Smith's Crisps Skies, Smith's Crisps Chips Skies, are just incredible and that's not natural. And, and the, the chemming that's going on and people are still saying, no, it's not. I seriously know people say, no, that's not chemtrails. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe what? Ooh, I missed that one. I think they can see all this other stuff, but they don't see that. It just doesn't make sense. That some people can see half of the picture, and they see the you know they they know Yeshua and they know Jesus. They see half of the picture. They don't see the full picture, and I think they're going to get a really rude shock like this thunder. It's going to be so much harder for them to accept um, a lot of things that are bearing down on us. And they all will be revealed probably at once. And your heart will fail you if you're not ready. My heart might even fail me and I'm ready. I've known about this for ages. And I hate being a Jeremiah preacher. You know, Jeremiah preached judgment. He was the weeping prophet. And I'm not prophet, please believe me. No way. But Father told me four years ago and many others that I know of, there was an awakening then. And I'm just hoping that wasn't the last big call because 
it seems to be getting a bit late to be able to say, you know, if they can't see it now, when are they going to see it? This is this is what I worry about, and it's good to be able to talk to you guys about it um, because we know that we're all, you know, basically, even though some might believe in your family, it's just not up to the level you are with understanding. It's not that you're above them or I'm above them. It's just that our level of understanding has increased because the father... Um, made us do diligent work figuring it out and I do not believe any of us could have figured this out without the Holy Spirit to the level that we know the deception to the level that we know that the world has to be destroyed again look what's happened and I think the CV the whole scamdemic the father has just that was an awakening for the, um, you know, the enemy used it for their advantage, but that was an awakening for the saints. It was an awakening for the children to come home, to wake up. It's time to go home soon. I don't know when. I don't know if it's in my lifetime. The way the world's carrying on, it's starting to tell us all that it's pressing down on us. That is all I know. And I'm glad to be able to bring this to you while this is happening in front of me. I'm getting close now. And we're sinners, guys. We need salvation. That's the difference between us and them. They won't admit they need salvation. And by them, I mean anybody who denies that Yeshua came and died for us. Anybody who denies that. Why would you deny that? Humble yourselves in front of the Most High. Judgment is upon the world. It is here, it is now, it is not coming anymore, like I said four years ago. The hand of God is upon us. And I, I just can't stress it enough. Um, so, I love you all, and I, I, I don't stand in judgment of anybody, believe me, nobody. But I, I am scared for those who only see some of the picture and not all of it. And I'm also scared for those who are deceptive that appear to be good and they're not. And I pray for their souls. I pray for those who have sinned against the children. Because if they knew where they were going, that they wouldn't do it. So... This is just starting to cook. My arm is getting so sore. This is starting to cook. Yeah, it's going to be upon everybody in a minute. This storm, I mean. But the big storm, too. It is. And if you don't have the blood of Yahushua, it won't pass over you. And I pray this does pass over me because. I've got too much, I've got too many cars out, I've got, you know, I've got my huge bird aviary outside that could just be blown away so easy if a really big wind come. Not, you know, it's just, it's getting old. Things age. We all age. My message today is humble yourself. Father Yeshua, I pray anybody watching this will humble themselves, give their lives to you, let them know what you did for me, give them what, I, Father, I mean, give them what you did for me, how you, when you came to me, changed me instantly that day, and I fell away, Father, I think a lot of us do, but you called me, and I came back. anyone listening to this that they will be saved by the blood of Yeshua if they believe in their heart they humble themselves and believe in their heart that he came to the earth as the only son well things flying the only son that the creator ever made and his blood was shed for us and if we believe in that that free gift that we need because we're all sinners we will be saved father i pray this saves just one even just one create in my people that listen to me not my people father your people 
but the people that come to my channel, please create in them pure hearts, steadfast spirits to, to sustain them through what's coming. The good news is we leave this place. The good thing is we leave this place. It is tainted with too much sin. The ground cries out. The rocks cry out. The trees moan. And the people are grieved. Judgment is here. Repent. 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 You have nothing to lose but your soul. to the inhabitants of the earth because the devil has come down on you with great fury for he knows his time is short let him that have understanding reckon the number of the beast for it is a human number Okay, here. Oh dear. Hello, big spider, my friend, where I am back. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there because if I can't, if I can get back out of here. And I pray that the name of Yahua of Yah, the name of Yahushua to Yah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Creator. Oh, of course. It's okay. It's passing this way. It's coming down the back. Too keen to go out there to film it. Yeah, and there is none, so I won't do that. But I'll leave it there, guys.